now we come to the question number 24 in this they say there is one number which has consists of two digit a two digit ka number hai whose sum is 8 ek two digit ka koi number hai now suppose uh, before i start with this question let me say the number is uh, 53 okay so how do we write this number we can write this number as 50 means 5 into 10 because this is at the tens place and this is at the ones place 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 because this number is at the ones place this number is at the tens place so i can also write this number as 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 50 plus 3 right and they are saying so just remember this okay there are places this is 5 10 so i multiply this 5 with 10 and uh, this is like we write in the expanded form okay so this you keep in mind when we uh, uh, do this question and they are saying a number consists of two digit whose sum is eight a two digit ka number hai so dono digits ko jab hum add karenge it will be 8 so i can say let my first digit be x and then what will be my next digit again jo bach gaya 8 minus x now this x will be at the 10th place so i will multiply this with 10 because this number i have kept at the 10th place and this number i have kept at the ones place so this number will be multiply by one now why i need this because they in the question they say if 18 is added to the number agar main isme 18 add karu in numbers mein jo mera number hai 10x plus ab main isko uh, multiply by one karungi to it will be the same 8 minus x अगर मैं इन नंबर्स में इन डिजिट्स में 18 ऐड कर दूं तो व्हाट दे आर सेइंग द इट्स डिजिट्स आर रिवर्स्ड दैट इज व्हाई आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्लेसेस अगर मैं 18 ऐड करूं इनमें देयर प्लेसेस गेट्स रिवर्स्ड रिवर्स्ड मींस जो वंस की प्लेस पे नंबर था दैट विल कम एट द टेंस प्लेस सो दिस 8 माइनस एक्स विल कम एट द टेंथ प्लेस and this x will come at the ones place again i will say now they are saying there is a number uh, two digit number hai so aur dono ka sum jo hai wo 8 hai dono digits ko jaise maine ye example liya hai 5 and 3 there are two digits and when i will add the digits the sum will be 8 so uh this uh, uh, when i will take the first number i can say let the first number be x and what will be the second number it will be 8 minus x now the place of this is 10th place it is at the 10th place so i will multiply with it with 10 and this number is at the ones place so i will multiply it with 1 so now they are talking about the reversing of the digits reverse jab reverse honge digits jo uh, uh, ones ki place pe hai jo ones ki place pe hai wo kahan chala jayega 10th ki place pe okay aur jo 10th uh, ki place pe hai wo aa jayega ones ki place pe okay this you keep in mind okay now we form the equation they are saying uh, a number consists of two digit whose sum is 8 if 18 is added to the number so this is my original number which i have taken 10x plus the when i multiply with 1 it will be 8 minus x only they are saying when you will add 18 to this number the digits get reversed reversed means jo mera ones ki place pe number tha wo kahan pahunch gaya 10th ki place pe aur jo mera 10th ki place pe number tha wo pahunch gaya hai ones ki place pe so this becomes your equation you solve it and you will get the answer so let's solve it so this becomes 10x 
plus 8 minus x plus 18 is equal to now I have to multiply 10 it's a 80 minus 10x plus x now bring all the x terms together like this 10x this minus x and this plus 10x it will become okay and this will become minus x the other side you have 80 this is minus 8 this is minus 18 now i have two positive terms 10 and 10 becomes 20x and minus x and minus x becomes minus 2 so from 20 you minus uh, 2 so that will be 18x and here 18 and 8 both are negative terms so you add them 18 and 8 becomes 26 and 18 is a 26 you will get 54 so you get 54 80 minus 26 is 54 now to find x this 54 you divide with 18 18 3 is 54 so x is 3 so uh, I had taken the first number x on the 10th place so it means on the 10th place my number is 3 and what will be on the uh, ones place 8 minus 3 is 5 so the answer is 35 so this is a two digit number 35 and when we will add the digits you will get 8 3 plus 5 is 8 okay now the 25th question they are saying the total cost of three tables and two chairs is rupees 1850 if a table costs rupees 75 more than a chair find the price of e so i don't know the uh, the price of either the chair or the table so i will assume them so i'll say let the cost of the chair be x and they are saying that the cost uh, a table costs 75 rupees more than the chair it means the cost of the table will be x plus 75 if the cost of the chair is x rupees the cost of the table is 75 more than the chair so it will be x plus 75 rupees now they are talking about that the total cost of three tables so if the cost of one table is x plus 75 what will be the cost of three tables it means i have to multiply this with three x plus 75 multiplied by three okay so this is the cost of one chair and one table okay so the one, uh, cost of three tables will be cost of one table multiplied by three okay and the, uh, they are saying the two chairs so and what is the cost of one chair x so what will be the cost of two chairs it will be 2x so they are saying the total cost of three tables this is a cost of three tables plus the cost of two chairs that is equal to rupees 1850 so this only becomes my equation you solve it and you will get to know the cost of each chair and each table so 3 multiply by x 3x and 75 multiply by is 225 75 multiply by 3 is 225 plus 2x is equal to 1850 so 2x plus 3x becomes 5x and 1850 minus 225 so what you will get 10 may say 5 5 to this 4 may say 2 2 1625 so 1625 now you divide this with 5 5 threes are 15 5 two are x ka value hai, 325 and what was x x was my chair so it means the cost of chair is 325 rupees and what is the cost of the table it is x plus 30 75 75 rupees more than the cost of the chair so it will be 400 rupees 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स दे से अ मैन सोल्ड एन आर्टिकल फॉर रुपीज फोर नाइन्टी फाइव एंड गेंड टेन परसेंट ऑन एट फाइंड द कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द आर्टिकल एक आर्टिकल है सो द मैन हैज सोल्ड इट फॉर रुपीज फोर नाइन्टी फाइव एंड ऑन सेलिंग इट फॉर फोर नाइन्टी फाइव रुपीज ही हैज गेंड टेन परसेंट सो दे हैव गिवन यू द परसन गेन इन परसेंटेज सो ही हैड अ गेन ऑफ टेन परसेंट नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द सी पी सो वी विल से लेट सी पी ऑफ द आर्टिकल बी एक्स एंड गेन इज टेन परसेंट ऑफ एक्स नाउ गेन और लॉस जब भी होता है वी हैव ऑन सी पी ओके अगर सी पी एक्स है तो गेन उसको कितना हुआ टेन परसेंट ऑफ एक्स सो आई टू आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट गेन और लॉस इज ऑलवेज ऑन सी पी ओके सो गेन उसको हुआ है टेन परसेंट ऑफ एक्स एंड आई टोल्ड यू इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस सम्स ऑल्सो वेन एवर यू हैव दिस साइन ऑफ परसेंटेज इट मीन्स टेन अपॉन हंड्रेड परसेंटेज मीन्स डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड ऑफ एक्स मीन्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स सो दिस इज हिज गेन टेन परसेंट ऑफ सी पी टेन परसेंट ऑफ एक्स एंड एस पी दे हैव सेड इज सेलिंग प्राइज ऑफ द आर्टिकल इज फोर नाइन्टी फाइव सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द कॉस्ट प्राइज दैट वी हैव टेकन एज एक्स नाव वी नो दैट द फॉर्मूला इज वी वॉज हैव टू फाइंड द कॉस्ट प्राइज आई कैन से कॉस्ट प्राइज इज एस पी माइनस गेन तो एक्चुअल कॉस्ट प्राइस कितना हुआ जितना उसने उस uh, उसने बेचा उसमें से जो उसको प्रॉफिट हुआ वो माइनस करके आई विल गेट टू नो कि उस आर्टिकल का कॉस्ट प्राइस कितना था तो मुझे सेलिंग uh, प्राइस में से गेन जो हुआ है उसको माइनस करना है ओके सो सी पी आई हैव टेकन एज एक्स एस पी इज फोर नाइन्टी फाइव एंड हाउ मच इज द गेन इट इज टेन परसेंट ऑफ एक्स और टेन अपॉन हंड्रेड x so this becomes my equation now you solve this this is x term so bring it here along with x and 495 now when i solve this so this lcm is 100 so this becomes 100x plus 10x is equal to 495 100x plus 10x becomes 100 टेन एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू फोर नाइन्टी फाइव एंड एक्स विल बी फोर नाइन्टी फाइव इन टू दिस बिकम्स अ रेसी प्रोकल ओवर देर ओके सो जीरो जीरो गेट्स कैंसल फोर इलेवन फोर जो फोर्टी फोर एंड इलेवन फाइव जो फिफ्टी फाइव सो एक्स कम्स फोर फिफ्टी एंड एक्स वॉज वॉट माई सी पी सो इट मीन्स द कॉस्ट प्राइज ऑफ द आर्टिकल इज रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी In question number twenty-seven, they are saying the length of a rectangular field is twice its breadth. If the perimeter of the field is one fifty meters, find its length and breadth. Hope you uh, remember. Last time we have done the perimeter area, so hope you remember the formulas. Okay, so they are saying there is a rectangular field. Suppose this is a rectangular field, and they are saying the length of the rectangular field is twice its breadth. जो length है वो breadth के double है. So I will say let the breadth be x. So this is breadth. So let the breadth be x, and then what will be the length? It will be twice. So it means two x. So this is the breadth, and this is the length and they are saying the perimeter is 150 meters and i have to find how much is length and how much is breadth because this uh, question is about the perimeter so i will start with the formula of perimeter of rectangle and the shape of the field is rectangular so what is the perimeter of a rectangle it is two length plus breadth right okay so what is the perimeter of rectangle given it's 150 and 2 how much is the length it's 2x and how much is the breadth it is x now this becomes equation you solve it so 150 first i can solve the bracket as you can see both are x terms so i can add them together 2x plus x is 3x and now when i'll open the bracket i have to multiply with 2 3x uh, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6x and 150 now i have to find x so 6 i will send to the other side so 6 to the 12 6 fives are 30 so x comes to be 25 and what was x x was breadth so it means breadth is 25 meter and how much is length it is 2x means 2 multiplied by 25 or 50 meters
the class now the question number 28 they are saying two equal sides of a triangle now this is a triangle and these are the equal sides now uh, what the triangle is called which has two equal sides that is called isosceles triangle right hope you remember this okay so they are saying two equal sides of a triangle are five meters less than twice the third side if the perimeter of the triangle they have given you the perimeter of this triangle which is 55 meter find the length of its sides now they are saying uh, okay I'll start with the question let uh, I'll start the solution I'll say let the third side be x so let this be the third side which is x now uh, they what about the two equal sides they are saying two equal sides of the triangle are five meters less they are five meters less than twice the third side the third side is x so what will be the uh, twice the third side it will be 2x okay so again i'll say let the third side be x now they are saying the two sides are five meters less than the five meters less than twice uh, the third side the third side is x uska twice so twice of the third side so this will be my uh, one side and the because the other side also is equal so this also will be 2x minus 5 so 2x minus 5 2x minus 5 and the third side is x and because this is a triangle what is the perimeter of a triangle how do we find the perimeter of the triangle side plus side plus side so side plus side plus side so one of the sides is x the other side is 2x minus 5 and what is the third side again 2x minus 5 and what is the perimeter given it's 55 so this becomes my equation so you solve it so first of all open the brackets 2x minus 5 and plus 2x minus 5 so x x x so 2x plus 2x plus x so what it becomes 5x okay and minus 5 and minus 5 becomes minus 10 other side you have 55 now i will bring this minus 10 to this side 55 plus 10 so this becomes 65 so x will be 65 upon 5 means 13 so what is the value of x it is 13 so now what it means is that my third side the third side which is x the third side is x so that will be 13 meters and what about these two equal sides the other two equal sides will be of how much meters they are, uh, we have taken as 2x minus 5 means 2 multiplied by 13 minus 5 13 to the 26 minus 5 is equal to 21 meters so this third side is 13 meters this side is 21 meters and this side also is 21 meters so 21 plus 21 is 42 and 13 plus 13 is 55 that is the perimeter question number 29 they are saying two complementary angles differ by 8 degree find the angles now angles you know we measure the angles in degrees okay now they have used one word complementary now what are complementary angles two angles whose sum is 90 degree suppose one of the angles is 50 degree and the other angle will be of 40 degree so these two angles are complementary because both of these angles are together equal to 90 degree okay so two angles whose sum is 90 degree they are called complementary angles now they say two complementary angles differ by 8 degree find the angles now i don't know uh, what the angles are equal to both the angles but i only do know that both of them when i will add them together they will be of 90 degree so i can say let one angle be x and what will be the second angle then 
अगर 90 डिग्री के दोनों एंगल्स हैं तो एक अगर x है तो दूसरा कितना होगा 90 माइनस एक्स यस 90 माइनस एक्स विल बी द अदर एंगल नाउ दे आर सेइंग देयर डिफरेंस इज एट डिग्रीज सो देयर डिफरेंस मींस व्हेन आई विल सब्ट्रैक्ट बोथ द एंगल्स यस देयर uh when i will subtract both the angles their difference is 8 means i will get 8 when i will subtract both the angles now this becomes my equation you solve it so minus and minus will become plus 8 now plus x and this x becomes 2x and 8 plus 90 so 2x is equal to 98 and x will be 98 upon 2 to four eight to nine so x ka value aa gaya 49 so what it means is that one of my angles is 49 degree and the other angle will be 90 minus 49 uh, how much uh, it may 41 so one of the angles is 49 degree and what is other angle it is 41 degree क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी से टू सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स डिफर बाय फोर्टी फोर डिग्री फाइंड द एंगल्स नाउ इन द ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन दे टॉक अबाउट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स एंड आई टोल्ड यू वॉट आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स टू एंगल्स हु सम इज नाइन्टी डिग्री नाउ दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स नाउ वॉट आर सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स टू एंगल्स हु सम इज वन एटी डिग्री सपोज वन ऑफ द एंगल्स इज हंड्रेड एंड टेन डिग्री एंड द अदर एंगल इज 70 degree so both of the angles if you will add you will get 180 degree so both these angles are what they are supplementary angles okay now they say two supplementary angles differ by 44 degree find the angles now i know that two angles will make 180 degree so uh, i'll say let uh, one angle be x then what will be the other angle it will be 180 Minus x because both of them will be equal to 180 degree. Now, how to form the equation? They say the two supplementary angles. These are the two supplementary angles. They differ by means their difference is their difference is equal to 44. They are differ by 44 degree. So this becomes my equation. You solve it, and you will get the Answer minus and minus becomes plus. So now x and x becomes two x. So forty four plus one eighty. This will become one eighty over there. So two x is equal to two twenty four, and x will be two twenty four divided by two. One zero two two one zero two two zero four. So x is one hundred twelve. It means one of the angles is one hundred and twelve. And what is the other angle? It is one hundred eighty minus one hundred and twelve. That will be six sixty eight degree. Yes. So one of the angles will be one hundred and twelve degree, and the other angle will be sixty eight degree. So in the uh, this with the PDF which I gave you, I have written one sixty eight, but it's not one sixty eight. It is only sixty eight degrees. Now in the question number thirty one, again they are saying in an isosceles triangle. So what is an isosceles triangle in which the two sides are equal and also the two angles are equal. These opposite angles are also equal. In an isosceles triangle, the two sides are equal and the these opposite angles are also equal. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So these are the base angles and they are saying they are equal. So I will take them both as x. so the base angles are equal and the vertex angle is twice of each base angle so it means this third angle will be twice this base angle so it means it will be 2x and they are asking you to find the measure of each angles so now they are talking about angles okay so here i will use the property which property angle sum property of a triangle what it means that the sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to how much is equal to 180 degree this is the angle sum property of a 
ट्राइंगल जो ट्राइंगल के थ्री एंगल्स होते हैं वेन वी एड दैम अप दे आर ऑलवेज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री सो वन ऑफ टू ऑफ द एंगल्स आई हैव टेकन एज एक्स एक्स प्लस एक्स एंड द थर्ड एंगल आई हैव टेकन एज टू एक्स सो एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एटी सो वेन यू विल एड दैट विल बी फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एटी सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर so x comes to फोर्टी फाइव सो इट मीन्स दिस एंगल इज़ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस एंगल इज़ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड वॉट इज दिस एंगल दिस इज टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर्टी फाइव और नाइन्टी डिग्री सो इट बीज टू एंगल्स आर ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ईच एंड वन ऑफ द एंगल्स इज नाइन्टी डिग्री इट मीन्स इट इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल नंबर थर्टी टू दे आर सेंग अ मैन ट्रेवल्ड थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ इज जर्नी बाय रेल वन फोर्थ बाय अ टैक्सी वन एट बाय अ बस एंड द रिमेनिंग टू किलोमीटर ऑन फुट सो फाइंड द वॉट इज़ द लेंथ ऑफ इज टोटल जर्नी आई हैव टू फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ द टोटल जर्नी सो आई विल से लेट द टोटल जर्नी बी एक्स किलोमीटर्स ओके सो नाउ आई विल से हाउ मच डिस्टेंस ही हैज़ कवर्ड बाय रेल दे आर सेंग थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ जर्नी of total journey means of x so it means the distance covered by rail is 3 by 5 x by taxi is 1 by 4th of the journey means 1 by 4 x and by bus is 1 8th of the journey that is 1 by 8 x and the remaining distance he covered on foot so that was 2 kilometers okay so these are the different fractions Uh, in which he has covered the distance. Now they are, we have to find out what is his total journey. Now we know that the total journey, that is x, is equal to the sum of all these. So that will be three by five x plus one by four x plus one by eight x and plus two kilometers. The uh, distance covered by him by rail, by taxi, by bus, and the by covered by foot. All these will make the total journey so the total journey is equal to the distance covered by him by different sources so this becomes my equation and you can solve it now look at this now x is equal to so you can bring the x terms this side so that will be minus 3 by 5x uh minus 1 by 4x Minus one by eight x, and the other side with the is two. So when I solve this, so I'll take the LCM. The LCM will be LCM will come out to be forty. So this becomes forty x minus five three uh, five eight is forty three is twenty four x four ten is so ten x eight. Five sir, so five x is equal to two. Now all these negative terms I will add together. So minus twenty four, minus thirty four, or yeah, minus thirty four and minus five is minus thirty nine x. Okay, upon forty is equal to two. So now forty x minus thirty nine x is x upon forty is equal to two. This I will send to the other side. Yeah, there it will become multiply. So x is equal to eighty. So what was my x? X was I had taken as total journey, and that only was the question to find the total journey. So it means the total journey is eighty kilometers. The question number twenty thirty three says a laborer is engaged for twenty days on the condition that he will receive rupees one twenty for each day he works and will be fined rupees ten for each day he is absent. Okay, so now they are saying a laborer hai usko bees din ke liye lagaya gaya hai. He has been uh, uh, put on work for twenty days and he has been told that if Uh, he is present. He will be given one twenty rupees, and if he is absent, then he will be fined ten rupees. Means, his uh, salary will be ten rupees cut. Liye jayenge for the days he is absent. Okay, so now they are asking you how many days he remain absent. So uh, I can say, let 
the for some days he was present and some days he was absent so i can say let the uh, he be absent for x days because i don't know how many days he was present and how many days he was absent so let his absent days be x and then what will be his present days to jitna isme se bach gaya okay so it will be 20 minus x right so let his absent days be x and the days for which he was present will be 20 minus x now according to the condition they say that he will rupees 120 for each day he is present so it means these present for these present days he will get 120 rupees so this i have to multiply by 120 and for the absent days he will be fined 10 rupees okay so Uh, for uh, this uh, absent days, he will get ten rupees as a fine. So this I will multiply with ten. Now uh, they are saying uh, if he rupees eighteen eighty in all. Now uh, this much he uh, money he got for the days he was present. Usme se for the ten x multiply by ten means ten x. Usme se uska fine cut ke the money he received for the days he was present. Usme se the money deducted uh, for the days uh, he was absent. At the end of his time, at the end of the twenty twenty uh, days, he is getting eighteen hundred eighty rupees. So this becomes my equation. So the money which he got for the days when he was present minus his fine which he will receive when he will when he was absent the, he had the total amount he has got after 20 days is 1880 so this becomes the equation you solve is 120 multiply by 20 becomes 2400 yes and minus 120x minus 10x is equal to 1 88 so minus 120x and minus 10x becomes minus 130x and this i will shift to the other side minus 2400 so minus 130x is 0 10 means 82 and 520 Okay, five hundred twenty zero math. So, so uh, this minus and minus gets cancelled. So five twenty upon one thirty. So you cancel is thirteen. Four is fifty-two. So x is come to four. And what was my x? X I had taken for the absent days. So it means for how many days he was absent? He was absent for four days. And how uh, many days he was present? So total were twenty days minus four is equal to sixteen days. He was present while four days he was absent. Okay, the next question they are saying that Le Hari Babu left one third of his property to his son, one fourth to his daughter, and the remainder to his wife, and his wife gets a share of eighteen thousand. What was the worth of his total property? Was his total property कितनी थी? So I will say let his total property be x, and what uh, his son has got? He has got one third of his property. Of his property means one third of x. His property is x, so it becomes one third x, and daughter gets one fourth of x, and this wife, uh, he, they say they get that she gets a remaining property which is equal to rupees eighteen, uh, one eighteen uh, thousand. Okay, now they are asking you to find the total property, so the total property is equal to the property received by the son. The property rece plus the re uh, property received by the daughter and the property received by the wife. So the so total property I have taken as x. So x is equal to uh, son ka property is one by three x plus daughter ka property one by four x and eighteen thousand the wife has received. So all these x terms I will bring together. So you can say x. 
minus 1 by 3x minus 1 by 4x on one side and on the other side 18,000 you take their LCM so this becomes 12x minus 4x minus 3x is equal to 18,000 now a minus 4 and minus 3 becomes what it becomes minus 7x okay so 12x minus 7x is 5x now to find x i will send 5 by 12 to the other side and there it will become a reciprocal okay so 5 3 is a 15 5 6 is a 30 0 0 so x comes to 12 6 is a 72 12 3 is a 36 43 so x comes to 4 3 2 0 0 and what was x x was the total property so what uh, what is the total property of the man the total property of the man is 43200 rupees okay now the question number 35 they are saying how much pure alcohol must be added to 400 ml of a 15 percent solution to make the strength 32 percent now what they mean to say is a solution here solution is what it's a mixture of two things okay so a mixture hai just me uh, water hai and alcohol hai so the total solution is 400 uh, ml so sab kuch mila ke alcohol or water mila ke the solution is 400 ml or usme se 15 percent is alcohol now they are saying is 15 percent ki bajaye maine isko 32 percent alcohol karna hai isme so earlier initially the uh, alcohol part of alcohol is 15 percent but now i have to increase this part of alcohol to 32 percent so this is the question so how you will do first of all they are saying this 400 ml is the total solution and in this 15 percent is alcohol so i will find out how much is this 15 percent of 400 ml so i will take out the 15 percent percent i told you now what is percent 15 uh, percentage means divide by 100 so 15 upon 100 of 400 of 400 so if you will get it means 60 ml so in this 400 ml solution 60 ml is what alcohol so 60 ml is alcohol in in 400 ml of solution okay now they want to increase the alcohol to 32 percent so i can say because i don't know how much i will increase so i can say let the alcohol to be added be to be added be x ml because I have to add alcohol to make the alcohol 32% which was the first 15% I have to add 32% but I don't know how much alcohol I will add so I will say let the alcohol to be added be x ml but now see how much is it 60 ml alcohol in a 400 ml this solution if the solution is 400 ml the alcohol in it is 60 ml right or agar is 60 ml mein mein kuch aur alcohol daalungi to make it 32 percent it means my solution also will get increased by this much jitna alcohol daalungi utna hi solution bhi to bada jayega na agar mein suppose is mein 60 mein 20 ml aur daalti hoon to solution kitna ban jayega 400 plus 20 this also will increase 420 jitna daalungi utna hi solution bhi bada jayega okay so this 60 ml out of 400 ml was the alcohol initially but now to uh, make it 32 percent i have uh, added it in uh, added in it x ml pure alcohol so the solution also will increase by x ml only so i have to make this equal to 32 percent and 32 percent i can write as also 32 upon 100 
So this becomes my equation. You solve it and you will get the answers. Now how can I solve by cross multiply? So let us cross multiply them and see. Now 100 I have to multiply by 60 plus x and 32 I will multiply by 400 plus x. Okay, now when you will multiply, so 160 will become 6000 plus 100x is equal to 32 and 100 plus this will become 32x. Okay, now x you bring together. 100x minus 32x is equal to 12800 minus 6000. Now 68x is equal to 6800 and x will be 6800 upon uh, 68. So that becomes 100. So x is 100. So what was my x? x was the, uh, I had estimated the alcohol which I will put. So in order to make uh, the uh, quantity of alcohol 32%. So what is the answer? It means 100 ml of alcohol I will add. So when I will add 100 ml more, now the uh, this uh, total alcohol will become 160 because already I had 60 and 100 ml more I will add and earlier the solution which was 400 when I will add 500 more uh, when I will add 100 ml of alcohol more the solution will become 500 ml okay alcohol will become 160 ml and the solution total solution will become 500 ml